Lapis Lazuli, a gem that was thought of as a symbol of wisdom and knowledge. A gem inlaid in a sarcophagus and other burial ornaments. Decorated an entire room, including mirror frames. Lapis Lazuli aids intellectual analysis, problem solving, and gives writers new ideas. They are even good for enhancing memories. Also, Lapis Lazuli is seen as a stone of friendship and harmonizes relationships. It also helps one be more self-aware and allows that person to accept that knowledge. Even on certain dates of birth, Lapis Lazuli has been seen as a conduit for guardian angels. Now isn't that nice? But in the Cartoon Network show Steven Universe, Lapis Lazuli is not just a gem. She is an alien of magical beings alongside the crystal gems, Jasper, and the diamonds. Lapis has been seen as a gem that has given truth and was shown as the mirror gem. She has befriended Steven and told him her honest truth, even made Steven understand not just himself as a crystal gem, but Lapis Lazuli as a lost gem as well. If you notice the sarcophagus, I think it's kind of a reference to her didn't I lived in for those months. She inspired Greg, helped Steven summon his shield on his own, and even grows water rings. She looks like an angel. She's Steven's guardian angel. Surprise, surprise. However, she is loved and hated by Steven Universe fans. No matter how you look at it, she did try to drown Steven and Connie. Denied Steven's help when fused with Jasper. Stole the ocean and broke Greg's leg. But I don't know if you would say that she broke his leg intentionally, but whatever. On the upside though, she is friends with Steven, showing that she does care for Steven. Gave a message warning of Jasper's pursuit, even saving Steven from Jasper. And she constantly tries to protect Steven when he is threatened or might be threatened. But in the end, does that really matter? To the fans? Yes. Yes, it truly does. But I'm not talking about how great and or terrible Lavis Lizzily is, because she is both. I'm going to be analyzing her character and her part in the Steven Universe series. Now let's get into it! This is Overanalyzing Characters, Lapis Lazuli. <laughs> Character Design Lapis Lazuli has a light blue skin with a chin-length short hair, a knee-length skirt, and a halter crop top that ties at the back. Also her gem is on her pack. Her personality is quite interesting with her having one of the most serious moments almost every time she is on the screen. But she has shown that she has a close understanding of Steven's humor. Second to Amethyst. Probably. So it seems. She has shown her nicer and adventurous side in the episode The Same Old World. She listens, she laughs, she plays. She seems to have a very happy personality, but not without its scars. In contrast to the same old world, in the very next episode, Barnmates, she definitely shows her most darkest and worst side to Paradox. Who at this point was kind of a crystal gem. Paradox joined because she insulted Yellow Diamond to her face. What do you know about the Earth? Apparently more than you, you clod! <laughs> Bitch. Lapis doesn't hide it. She speaks openly, even to Paradox's face. What's wrong, Lapis? It's her. Huh? She's the problem. I can't stand the thought of having to look at her every day. Can you blame her? As soon as she left Earth, she came right back thanks to Paradox. Lapis has every right to blame Paradox and Jasper, but she just learned about change in the last episode. These episodes show the most about her personality, being very playful and can act childish, being extremely hostile while holding a very deep grudge that seems like a scar that will always remind her of her torture. The most important thing is that these episodes show that Lapis won't accept change so easily. But with some help of Steven, a good talk with Steven, and some understanding with the rest of the gems, she will in time change as well. And honestly, in the next episode, hit the diamond. Wow. <laughs> Looks like she's done with all the horse shit. Actually, I think she's done with some of my horse malarkey too, so let's move on. This plan sucks. First reveal on the show. Lapis was revealed at the very end of the episode, Mirror Gem. She has shown that she does have great rage against the Crystal Gems, but not towards Steven. However, a question that occurs during the ending of this episode is, did the Crystal Gems know she was in there? 
Some say it seems like Garnet knew, looking angry upon hearing the mirror is like a person. Amethyst knew, looking scared, and Pearl did not, looking confused. However, I think the Crystal Gems did know Lapis Lazuli was in there. With what Lapis said... You... You three knew I was in there. And you didn't do anything! Especially if you think of what Pearl says in the next episode, The Ocean Gem. How could I have known the gem contained in that mirror would be so powerful? Character thoughts. Or ideals or whatever. Lapis Lazuli seems to have a very confusing stand about the Crystal Gems and the whole world. Especially from what she said that the Crystal Gems are not like other gems. And how she does not believe in the Earth. However, she believes in Steven rather than the Earth itself. She even sent a message of warning to Steven and not really to the Crystal Gems. She even tries to ask Steven to be safe rather than trying to protect the Earth. She even decides to fuse with Jasper so that she can try to keep her down and trapped with the weight of the entire ocean. And she did this just for Steven. She even said this in Steven's dream. Steven! Why do you keep coming back? I can't get distracted. I, I've got to hold us down with the weight of your planet's ocean. In the episode... Genitude. First Origins. So, what is Lapis Lazuli's origins? Well, she was found as a mirror, and freed and healed by Steven, left Earth, but was taken back to Earth, became a monster, and drowned herself. However, we don't actually know anything about Lapis Lazuli's origins. Do we? Full origins. I know I just mentioned it earlier, but thanks to Season 3 of Steven Universe, we now have the full story of Lapis Lazuli from the beginning up to the present. Lapis Lazuli came to Earth, which was to be a moment, but was caught in the crossfires of the Gem War. She was then trapped in a mirror, left behind and found by Pearl at the Galaxy Orb. She was then given, released, and healed by Steven. <coughs> she went back to where she came, but was taken back to Earth. She then fused with Jasper and trapped herself underwater, and was then later saved and is now staying on Earth just some of my general thoughts. Now with all this information, there is something very confusing about her. And to me, it is something that might be important. In the episode, Same Old World, Lapis said something that really confused me. I've got nowhere to go. Who knows what they do to me back home. After what I did to Jasper, I can't go back to Homeworld and I can't stay here. So that she can't go home and she can't stay on Earth. Then why does she say home and home world separately? I don't think she lives on the home world planet, but rather that she lives on a gem control planet. Well, that is just whatever. What really interested me was in her origin story, she called the other gems that held her captive home world gems. So what gem is she in all this trouble? Another thing that confuses me is she so I've never believed in this place. But her story shows she deliberately came to Earth. So then, why is she here? I've been thinking of some reasons, and uh, it was just the top of my head. One, she might be visiting for a very important gem meeting or council. But she can fly. If she was visiting and what she speaks is true, then why didn't she just fly to the gem meeting rather than on a random place on Earth? And if she is important enough to be invited to an important gem council meeting, then why didn't the gems vouch for her when she was trapped in a mirror? And why is she treated less than Jasper? She used a warp pad to try to go to a gem control facility. But if that was the case, why did she show up to an area much closer to a gem battle zone? As we have seen over the past two seasons, there are warp paths that either lead to the kindergarten, a war zone, or near a gem facility. Also, the very important areas have no access to warp paths. I just noticed this, but does Lapis Lazuli even use a warp pad at all? Answer, no. She has never used a warp pad for the past two, three seasons. Well, that was solved. But Lapis is on Earth, even though she... But I never believed in this place. And during the making of this video, a new season and a few new episodes have come out that showed that Lapis Lazuli really has changed. Um, I know. But wait, wait, you guys have to see the inside! Lapis, fly us in! No. 
showing that Peridot and Lapis are now roomies, watching their favorite show together. Papalette, I need you. Go oh, get over it, Percy. Go make another friendship bracelet. Seriously? I forgot what that show was called. Even so far as creating art together. I've been calling it Meat Morp. Or, or, or Meat Morps. Even a short where Lapis freaks out about Steven being trapped in a tablet. It's just a How did he get trapped in there? Why are you doing something? Lapis, relax. It's my communication pad. Even though she would be freaking out about this before, like how she would freak out about Peridot and Jasper, for some reason, she glosses it over at the end of the video, showing that she really has changed, learned how to let go. I'm fine! Steven! You're okay! Sorry, Peridot. It's okay. Just take it easy with that back. And showing that she still has a lot to learn with the following comment after the situation she has created. No! That was Connie's laptop! Lion! He should really be more careful with other people's stuff. But hey, that is all I can think of for Lapis Lazuli in the Steven Universe series. So what do you think? Leave a comment below on what you think about Lapis. And hey, if you like this, then punch that thumbs up button down below. And share this video with your friends who like watching the Steven Universe show. And I will see you guys in the next video.